Hello and welcome back to the Blooming Journal Live. Um, it's me, Colleen Watson, president of Century Plant Publishing. Um, I hope you're having a great Tuesday, uh, digging out from the snow today. Uh, hoping that things are going well. Today we're going to continue our Starting the Year Right series. I'm so excited to have you join me today. Day, and we're going to continue talking about this new product that I introduced to you yesterday about building the unglamorous, unfun, but oh so necessary foundations of your stage so that you can be a rock star. Here's how I see it you're the rock star. What's my role? I'm kind of your tour manager. I'm the person who makes sure that all of the specialties that let you be a rock star. So if you are Taylor Swift and Beyonce, and they've expired, inspired me this year, as I hope last year, as I hope they have you, you know, they don't get on stage without, you know, their backup dancers or their musicians. Um, but they also don't get on stage with all the technical people, all the people who do the, their lights and their sound and their explosions and all of that. Uh, they also don't get on stage without the people who stay at home and make the arrangements. So, you know, those people who write the contracts and make sure that everything goes smoothly. So it takes a lot to be on tour and there's a foundation underneath it of a lot of people. Um, and I'm here to help you find those people and build that foundation. So I am your tour manager. I'm the one who makes sure everything comes together. You are the rock star, right? So with this, I am launching my VIP all access backstage pass. And so what this is about is giving you the backstage of the unglamorous parts of what goes on to get you on stage. And we're focusing on the four pillars. So the four sides of your, your stage that hold the stage up, that make everything on the stage possible. And there are four of those. There's money, there's insurance, there's a succession plan, and then there is a will, right? So this is all about, yes, it's about you being a rock star, but it's also about you having a legacy and you're ensuring that your legacy can survive you, right? So today we're going to focus on um, the part and talk about what we're going to do with the money pillar. So money, money, like it or not, is the root of all business, right? You need money to get things going. So, um, in my program, the pilot program, we're going to be focusing on three types of money. There is your daily money. So that is your break even point. What do you need to make every month to cover all of your business expenses? And, 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 and this is more important, ensure you have a salary, right? Um, so when you're a solopreneur, like, your salary is part of your business expense and you have to consider that when you're doing it. When you start hiring people or doing that, that's also part of your business expenses, right? Um, so never forget to pay you. You deserve, you know, it's not just about covering all of those ancillary things that you need in your business. You also need a salary. Um, so that is number one. The second is the yearly focus, which is what have you considered your taxes? Right. I, I get it. You know, especially when you're just starting out, you're like, I need a tax plan. Really? I need to talk to a tax professional. But having a business does have tax implications. And we'll talk about what those are, particularly if you're somebody who wants to grow a business, particularly if you're somebody who wants to have employees um, or have an office you know, or buy vehicles, those, those things, you know, matter. And you need to have a plan because they're all going to affect what you pay in your taxes. Okay. Um, and then the last one is your retirement plan, right? Hopefully, you know, this business is going to keep you in the lifestyle you want until you're ready to not work anymore. But you know, the, the luxury, one of those luxuries of having um, a W-2 job is that they offer typically some sort of opt-in for a retirement plan. We don't have that in us, you know, and, and most businesses 
try to nudge their employees into participating in a retirement pension plan, right? So, and that W-2 job also feeds into Social Security. Now, um, hopefully Social Security will still be around and you'll be able to get it, but you are feeding into the Social Security benefit that hopefully you're going to see on the back end of your life. We don't have that. So you need to make a plan for how, where you're going to put your money, how you're going to invest that money, not just in the short term, but to ensure that the lifestyle you want, you get to have after you retire, even for an entrepreneur. So we're going to be discussing those three things as part one, as the first pillar, as the first corner of the stage um, devoted to uh, money. So that is what um, we're going to be focusing on. Some of those things, I am learning new things all the time. I hope that I will be able to help and, and encourage you as well. Um, but don't forget, for those of you starting the year, uh, we do have our um, AMP Up Your About Me page for 2024. That's coming on the 27th. The link for the ticket to that class is going to be in the in the notes for this show. Thank you so much for joining me today. And remember, rock stars. It is never too late to bloom. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.